All right, so you just installed WordPress Ad Widget, and now you're kind of wondering how do I use this thing. So with WordPress Ad Widget, once it's installed and activated, um, it's very easy to use. You're just going to go to your appearance section, and you're going to go down to this widgets area. Now, most modern themes, and when I say modern, I mean in the last five years, they support different widget areas like your sidebar, uh, some uh, themes have different sidebars for their home page and for their post page. In this case, in this example, we only have a single sidebar area, but this is where people typically want to place ads. Um, you might have sidebars, you might have leaderboards. Uh, if you don't have a widget area, but you do have a theme developer or someone that you work with to develop your site, you can have them add new widget areas. But WordPress Ad Widget is built to place ads anywhere that you have a widget area. And you're going to see when you come to the widgets page, we have two different ad types right here. Um, we have an image ad. So sometimes we just want to take an image file like a PNG or a JPEG. We want to put that in our sidebar. Um, and then we also, also have this HTML and JavaScript ad. That is uh, if we have like some Google AdSense code or some special code from an ad network, sometimes Amazon affiliate ads, different things that we might need to run. Um, and then we also have this park ad, uh, ad widget. Now, if you're like a news or a magazine publisher, or you're like actually monetizing your website um, by selling directly to local or regional advertisers, um, or maybe uh, business to business advertisers, that's something you'll want to check out too. So I'll explain that at the end of this video. Let's go ahead and get an image up and running on the site. So right now, this is my site. Let me just refresh this page because I did clear that out. So I don't have any ads running in this sidebar right now. So if I want to run an ad on my sidebar, um, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this ad image slash banner up to the top. And you can see the first thing that it asks us to do is upload a new image. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now I have one ready on my desktop. It's just a Purina dog food ad, just a 300 by 250. Um, and once we upload that, we're going to see it. Uh, we'll want to click insert into post. Um, if you click save all changes, you're not going to get what you want. This is like WordPress's built in upload widget. So we're using that. Just click insert into post. That's what you need. And you're going to see it's actually going to place the URL of the image here. So you'll leave that as is. Of course, your URL will be here, not this uh you know uh, this special special address right here and then we're going to put in the click destination so where does the user go when they click the ad now i'm just going to put in for example purposes like google.com um, sometimes it's helpful. So when I click on that ad, I'll get sent to google.com. Typically, this is going to be instead the advertiser's website or the link they gave you to where they're going to click on the ad. And then new advertiser, uh, we're going to set that name. So it's just helpful to put a name here. Sometimes we're like, hey, which ad was this? So when we save that, we're going to say that, see our ad coming up here. Now in our sidebar, typically our sidebars are like 300 pixels wide or like somewhere in that neighborhood. Uh, it wouldn't make sense to run a leaderboard here unless this was a leaderboard widget. So um, by default, if you do click that, um, you know, this, if you check off auto resize to max width, this will make sure any like wide ads get scaled down to fit that container. And there's also this option to open a new window and do click the ad. So we'll save that. Let's go back to our website and we'll check. And there you go. And if I click on this and see, it goes ahead and takes me to google.com. So we're good to go. So now it's just running on our sidebar. I can add as many of these to the sidebar as I want. And let's take a look at the uh, other ad formats. This is if you have some Google AdSense code. Now, the number one question we get is like, I put in my Google AdSense code. In fact, uh, people rate us on this, but it's kind of out of our control. Sometimes when you sign up for a Google AdSense account, you're like, it's not going to be activated right away. It's not going to display ads right away. You would paste your ad code right here and you would go ahead and click save uh, once you're done there. And you may or may not see ads the first time around. If you don't see ads, sometimes it takes a few days for Google AdSense to get rolling. Uh, we've had some people, you know, kind of rate our plugin poorly just because they didn't have an understanding of how that's supposed to work. It is on Google's side. So, um, so that's that. Uh, if you are a magazine or news publisher and, you know, Sometimes it's helpful to go to a sales meeting and show somebody what they can have ahead of time. So you have a, a you know, a meeting with a real estate agent or you have a real estate uh, or you have a meeting with a restaurant. You're going to that meeting and instead of just saying, hey, do you want to buy an ad on my site? Sometimes it's helpful to really show them something that they could have on your site. And that's where Park Ave comes in. So the company that makes this plug in Broad Street is all about helping 
local news publishers and magazines sell where otherwise it's kind of hard. It's not always easy selling static banner ads, but if you do sell something different, it becomes a much easier process. We also do sales webinars. So if you visit our website um, and uh, po poke around, you'll find links to our ad sales webinars. Or, or if you email front desk at broadsheetads.com, we'll send you links to those. So let's show you Park Ave really quick. If I had a meeting with a real estate agent, for example, um, I'll click on Park Ave and I'll say, okay, you know what? I'm looking for an ad format that I can show a real estate agent. I'm going to go ahead and create one here. And you're going to see I get this sample ad. And what I can do is I can go ahead and modify this ad by uploading an image for a house, setting the title. And as I go ahead, you know, if I were to go ahead and edit this ad, you can see it updates over here on the right hand side. I can pick different sizes of the ad. So maybe I want a 300 by 600 running on my sidebar. I guess some additional options. So what I can do is I can spec out an ad really fast. And when I'm done, I'm going to click save and insert. And what that'll do is insert special code for this ad right inside this unit. So if I go ahead and save that, maybe we'll get rid of this Purina ad um, just so that when we go and look at it on the website, it'll be the first position. We just saved this Park Ave ad and let's go ahead and refresh now. You can see that I have my real estate ad right here. So that's helpful because then I can go to a sales meeting and I can show my advertising client probably with their images. It's so easy to just go ahead and replace their images for your images um, or images you found on Google or on their website and show them what that would look like right on the uh, site. So it ends up really just setting you uh, apart from everyone else because everyone else trying to sell them an ad, even if it's like an established newspaper or something like that, is using usually working off of a paper media kit or something like that. They're not showing them a visual. So this is really helpful. And uh, one of our most famous ad formats of all time is our amazing cube format. So I'll go ahead. I actually have one already created somewhere. I'm just going to go ahead and swap this out. Um, if you do click on Park Ave, it'll take you back to the original um, ad placement. You can go ahead and edit it if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and insert this one instead. Save that. And we'll refresh this page. And you can see this is our amazing cube ad. It's a 3D rotating cube. It's just got the same sample image in there for example purposes. But this is probably one of the best selling ad formats at the local level that we've ever had. And uh, I think you'll you'll be able to put this to good use. So that's available in all the standard ad sizes, 300 by 600, uh, 300 by 250, 720 by 90, the newer IAB 4 by 1s. Um, so you can run those in different areas at your website. Really helpful for winning sales where otherwise it's a little bit harder. Um, and the click-through rate is phenomenal too. It's like 5 to 10 times higher click-through rate than your standard banner ad, at least in the Cubes case. So, uh, so I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions, um, you can email uh, front desk at broadshadeads.com. We'd be happy to help.